Gossip. All the gossip. 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 The Rumor Report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The Breakfast Club. Well, Chris Rock has been very open about the fact that he wasn't a great husband to his wife. He did cheat on her. And he admits that he cheated with three different women, one famous, one semi-famous, and one a member of the retail class. Now, according to page six, he was cheating on his wife with Kerry Washington when they were filming I Think I Love My Wife. So, ironically, that movie's about fantasies of him cheating on his wife. And in real life, he really was cheating on his wife, allegedly, with Kerry Washington, according to these sources. Well, I'm mad that that news came out a week too late. He dropped right. his press run last week, okay? He was on the <laughs> Breakfast Club last week. We could have asked him. All right? Now, according to a source close to Chris Rock, they're saying that it's a joke when he says he cheated with the famous person. He even says he cheated with a member of Destiny's Child, but not Beyonce. He was friends with Carrie around that time. They did the movie together. He was also separated from his wife around that time. They were off and on a lot during their marriage. It was a rocky situation. That's got to be tough, because imagine if your wife is really a fan of Scandal, and then you sleep with Carrie Washington. She should kind of understand, right? Mm, no. Because she's a fan of Scandal, she should understand. You don't think she would kind of like, okay, I get it, it's Olivia Pope. No, nah. no. You don't think so? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Now let's discuss this. Chris Jenner is producing a new show starring Scott Disick. The weird thing about that is Scott Disick was with Kourtney Kardashian. He's repeatedly cheated on her and gotten caught. They're not together right now, but she's going to still produce a show, a house flipping show. So, according, House flipping show? Yes. Okay. They did the pilot episode. It's called Royally Flipped. So the question is, should her mom be doing a show with her ex and producing? It's all about money, right? Everything's when it comes open down to, to it, it's just about business. Everything's open to that family when it comes yeah, to Courtney money. Might, Courtney might be a producer on that show, too. You never know. Courtney might be eating off that situation. All right, and there are rumors about Papoose cheating on Remy Ma. Uh, one woman was claiming that she actually had his baby and did several interviews about it. Here is one of the interviews that she did. How many times did y'all sleep together while she was in prison? Twice. You and Papoose, twice. When I was with him, he would talk about her a lot, and he, I felt that it was genuine. But how I was so in love with him and, you know, so infatuated with him that I said, you know, let me fall back. This man really serious about her. All right, I have to admit, I was disappointed when I saw that because I always look at Papoose and Remy Ma as having this ideal yeah, relationship. But, why, but, 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 but why'd you automatically believe it? I guess you shouldn't be well, disappointed. Well, I didn't, re I didn't report it before, but now we're reporting it because Papoose has actually responded to these allegations and he dug up some old video footage of her on Facebook Live that had been deleted. He somehow did his research and investigated and found this video. Me and Pat may never had that kind of encounter. I wanted to, I ain't know the secret. But y'all me, he ends up with Remy. What the fuck I supposed to go with the jab? You f***ing hear me on that post? Nah, I They trying to say my baby girl his girl why? Who's in the can? Hold on. Shut your ass up. Me and him ain't never had no well, sex. So well, in that video, it. she's admitting that she never even had sex with him. And that's why you shouldn't even have been disappointed when you first heard her say it, because we don't know if it's the truth or not. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't disappointed, like, oh, my God, he definitely did it. But I just was like, man, that would be terrible. So, well, anyway, Papoose. For Papoose, mm -hmm. for coming through with receipts. Now, <laughs> Papoose actually posted that video, and he said, Part one, the female in the backseat is the person who's been doing interviews, claiming I'm the father of her child. She was even fake crying on camera in this footage filmed weeks ago before she decided to fabricate these lies. She was riding around on Facebook Live. It looks like the driver knew she was lying, so she asked her, did she and I have sex? And she clearly said no. So he said he did know this woman. She was a promoter in Connecticut who booked him, and that's the only way he knew her. He didn't know her any other way. And he said if he did ever uh, do anything. He said he would never cheat with a chick as unattractive as that woman. I was, that's what I said earlier. I just know Pat would not with her. Mm -mm. <laughs> not that he would ever cheat not at all, period. Ever would, but definitely yeah. not now. No, Ain't no. enough Hennessy in the world. <laughs> I've seen the pictures of that girl. All right. <laughs> I mean, that's foul. She can't be going around doing interviews. That's real whack. He should sue her or something. Yeah, probably. but you know Because what if that would have messed up his what relationship? It, it, you know what's even whacker? The people who interview people like that. Like, they shouldn't even be getting granted an interview just because they can pick up the phone and uh, get online and tell a lie. Like, they shouldn't even be getting interviews. The Breakfast Club.